Hello everyone, this is Chrisom, and I'd like to invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. In this conversation, I've been asked uh, to describe uh, what the Kundalini is and how might it look and, you know, what are, are some of the visual stages one might go through in order to, to uh, get a, an idea. We're a very visual society, and uh, so I've been asked to kind of uh, supply a visual idea, a visual representation of the Kundalini, and I'm going to do that for you now. Uh, Kundalini is a, an energetic, conscious awareness of, of, for lack of a better word, of a divine quality that resides at the base of everybody's spine, uh, between the last three vertebrae, of the tailbone. And this is as an evolutionary uh, a spiritual evolu evolutionary point of reference within the, the five bodies of human expression, the five bodies being the physical, mental, emotional, psychological, and spiritual. Uh, we are spiritual beings going through a spiritual evolution that has uh, characteristics of the four other bodies, of the emotional, the mental, the psychological, and the physical. And so within that context... The Kundalini is a force, a force majeure, okay, a force majeure that that guides us in our spiritual evolutions. We be, you know, one life we're the sheep herder, and another life we're the we're the tech support, uh, and another life we're a cowboy or a cow person, cowgirl, I should say, <laughs> and in another life, you know, we're a geographer, and another life we're a cartographer, and another life, you know, we're all the the many different scenarios that that have been available to us on this planet as we mature ourselves spiritually towards the kundalini a visual representation of the kundalini i think is very effective through the use of a flower okay the flower has the long stem and each inch on this stem here can be seen as a lifetime as a lifetime given towards our spiritual evolution, towards the oneness with divinity that is our heritage, that is our, our, our many birth right. This is what we all strive to become, regardless of what religion we are, regardless of what kind of job we, we have in this current lifetime. This is what we are striving towards. The top of our head becomes like this flower here. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer here. It's a beautiful flower. It smells wonderful. Absolute wonderful smell. And this is what this is what the kundalini looks like. A kundalini is an extremely slow motion beautiful flower blooming on the top, you know, taking over the entire top of a person's head. Okay? It this, this flower doesn't really compare to, to the kundalini. The kundalini is really beyond words, beyond physicality. Is it, it is literally beyond physicality. Uh, so within that context, I want to turn the flower around. And, and as a person comes up uh, in their spiritual evolution, they begin to form the bud, as you see right here, the buds of a, of a kundalini experience. And this is where a person becomes available to this information. They become available to the idea of refining through love, refining through service, refining through the many, many qualities that, uh, that, that I teach through the Kundalini Awakening safety protocols. This is where a person becomes available to those refinements so that through those refinements, they become this beautiful spiritual flower. Okay. And this, you know, going from here to here is, is relatively, uh, I mean, within the context of many, many lifetimes. You can do it in a single lifetime, okay, depending on what, what, uh, what type of information you're receiving. But to go from here to here uh, suggests quite the physiological change. See, when you're here in the, in the bud stage here, you know, you're pretty much in line with the stem. You're going up. All, all evolution, uh, say, you know, if I'm using a plant as an example, which I am, 
comes through the soil, through density, straight up into the sun, into the beautiful sunlight. Well, so do we do this with Kundalini. We go straight up into the beautiful, beautiful light of divinity, the divine sun. Okay, think about that. And you become this beautiful flower. And it's, it's an endless flower. It's not like this, this physical flower here will, will eventually lose its moisture and change its shape. It'll wither and it, and it will transform into a different type of a, of a visual look right now. Whereas the kundalini will not. The kundalini, as that flower blooms here on the top of the head, it will continue into infinity. It will continue through the many dimensions and the, and the many experiences that that an energetic, divine uh, communion brings. Okay, so look at this flower. Bring it a little closer for you. See all the different parts of the flower. See those of you who are ready to have this information. See the stem, the long stem. You've come a long ways to receive this information. A long way. This is your heritage. This belongs to you. Belongs to everyone, but perhaps in this lifetime, this is for you. You right here, to you right here. Think about that. See if it applies to you. Doesn't matter if you're in a, in a, uh, a religious belief system or a lineage or you're, you're, you know, you're listening to some internet guy like myself talk to you about Kundalini. When you're ready, when you're here, then you will be guided to go here. If the information that I provide you works for you, then I want you to take it seriously and I want you to, to begin to redefine how you are and what you are and who you are. Redefine it. Have the courage to begin to look at transformation in your life as a reality, a spiritual reality that governs all the other four uh, expressive realities on your body. Once again, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the psychological. This spiritual reality, the awakened kundalini within you, that is the ultimate goal, perhaps, for you in this lifetime. There may be a need for more lives to be lived. There may also be more of, a, of an extension into the multiverse for this flower to achieve. Because as I said, the flower doesn't just stop, wilt, dry up, and go away. It continues into the infinity. So consider this. Consider this when you look at Kundalini. The, even feel the word coming through your mouth, Kundalini. What does that do for you? What information, what visuals come to mind? Are they visuals like this? Are they visuals that are much brighter, and say, like backlit diamonds throating floating through your visual space. I mean, you know, look at what happens to you when you even say the word kundalini. And that can give you an idea of what is in store for you as you travel along the spiritual evolutionary path that leads you here. The awakened kundalini. Thanks for watching.